Alligator, good morning. Thank you for starting our morning circle. You're welcome. Can I have a turn off, please? Mm, okay, thank you. Good morning, little Einsteins. How are you today? I'm glad I'm fine too, thank you. It's a lovely day today. Okay, let's see. What is the day of the week? Do you know what the day of the week is, alligator? Yes. What day is it? I'm not going to tell you. Why not? Alligator says it's a secret. Okay, I'll ask the kids to tell me. Okay. Yesterday was Thursday. What day comes after Thursday? I know. No, it's a secret, remember? Yes, for Friday. Are we right? Yes. It's Friday today. Should we clap Friday? Are you ready? Friday. Are we going to do that again? Friday. That's right. Okay. Mr. Alligator, can you please go and sleep in your box? Bye. 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 Okay. Now, let's see. What is the date today? Let's ask Mr. Calendar. Mr. Calendar, what is the date today? Well, yesterday was the 15th of April. What comes after 15? Hmm, think a little bit, guys. Oops. Mr. Calendar, you're wrong. I see yesterday was the 16th. Our Dear, try again with the calendar. Ah, oh, everyone makes a mistake. Yesterday was the 16th. The 16th of April. What comes after 16? Let's see. 16? 17. That's right. Let's write 17. How do we write 17? A1 and A7. 17. The 17th of April 2020. That's right. Okay. Now, it's time for our Bible story. But, for our Bible story today, we are going to use something special. Let me just check if I've got everything. We are going to need hmm, five stones. Can you show me five fingers? One, two, three. Four, five. Let's see if we can find number five. Is this five? Nope, this is one. Two. Three. Four. Ah, five. We need five stones. I'm going to put five there. Hmm. Oh, yeah, my stones. Let's check if I have five stones. Help me count them. One, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, five. Look again at number five. Five stones. Okay, so I have five stones. And the other thing I'm going to need is a whoop, a sling. A sling they used in the Bible times or other times as well for shepherds. Now, shepherds use it as a weapon against wolves or bears who want to attack their sheep. So that is what we're going to need. The other thing. We're going to use something small and something big. Which one is the smallest one? Yes, smallest one. Which one is the biggest one? That's right, biggest one. Okay, small and big. In our Bible today, we are going to read the story of David and Goliath. Now, David was small, while Goliath was big. I wonder, what is another word for small? Little? Yes. Tiny? Yes. And another word for big? Huge or gigantic. Now, that is right. Goliath was a giant. And David was a boy. He was not even a grown-up man like Daddy. Okay, let's read the story. Our Bible story is in 1 Samuel 17. The Philistine were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. Remember, Saul was the king then. A giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring out your best soldier to fight me! I'm going to show you the picture. Look, there is Goliath. Look at all his weapons, his spear and his sword. Mm. He's got lots of armor. Good I've said, if your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves. We will work for you. And if I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's soldiers were afraid. Can you show me your scared face? Ooh, they were so scared of this huge, huge giant. They did not want to fight the giant. Let's show you the picture. Meanwhile, Young David was taking food for his brothers. His brothers were soldiers in the army, in King Saul's army. When David reached the brothers, he saw Goliath and he heard Goliath's challenge. He heard Goliath shout all those things, those nasty, nasty things. David did not like what he heard. So, oh, I always forget the picture. That's David taking food to his brothers. So, David was very courageous. He was a brave boy. He went to King Saul. And he said, I am not afraid to fight the giant. King Saul 
called um, David very brave. But he said, David, you are too young. You can't fight the giant. But David replied, God will be with me. There David visiting King Saul in his tent. King Saul gave his, or gave his armor to David. Oh, that was big, big, big armor. It was too big and heavy for poor David. Look how big it is. The helmet doesn't even fit on his head. David did not want all of those heavy armor. David went to a stream and he picked up five stones. Huh? Do you remember I said we're going to need five stones? There's the five stones. Let's check the number five again. There you go. Jack picked up five stones and he stood in front of Goliath. Let me show you. The giant took one look at this boy only with only his slingshot and his five stones and he laughed out of his stomach. Ha 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 ha! Can you give me a big giant laugh? <laughs> He's so funny. Yes. And the giant said, Come over here boy! And I will feed you to the birds and the wild animals. Ha 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 ha. But David didn't care. He looked at the giant and he said, Giant, you come to me with a sword and a spear. But I come to you with in the name of the Lord of God's of the heavenly armies. Heaven's armies? Wow. David said, God will help me to defeat you and then the whole world will know that there is a God, a great, big, strong God. So, do you know what David did? David put a stone in his slingshot and took a stone in his slingshot and he swung it around Ooh, come on the shot swung it around and around and around and he ran to the giant and he let it go and the stone flew right in front on the forehead of the giant and the giant went Wee! the giant was dead sure let me show you the picture let's see <clears throat> David was the hero. He won that big old giant and all the Philistines ran as fast as their legs could carry them. They ran away because they lost their battle. That's our Bible story for today. Now I wonder, do you think David could have won the giant all by himself? No. Why did he win? Who helped him? Yes, God helped him.